We are building the ultimate gaming house and it is going to have every gaming system you can possibly imagine, but first, let's go dig a hole. Building an entire gaming house was always a dream of mine and it is so cool to see the walls and the structure come together. We are two weeks into building the gaming house. We took about 10 days on the foundation. We're about six days into framing. To see the plans of the gaming house on paper is one thing, but to see it finally come to life is another. Our goal at the gaming house is to have one of the coolest game filled tech infused hangout spots that you'll ever see. It is going to be two story over 3,000 square feet and did I mention zero bedrooms because this place is built for gaming and that's it. The reason this house is so special is because we've taken so many of your guys' comments and put them into the build and because of that we have seen so many different rooms transform on what we had first planned out. Now not all the ideas have been great and yes I'm looking at you who keeps telling me put a gaming setup on a toilet. Now, let me give you guys a tour around the gaming house and where we're sitting at today and show you how much of an impact you have made, especially my personal favorite, the secret gaming room. So welcome to the main floor where most of you boomer gamers are gonna be spending most of your time. This is where we're gonna be seeing everything from a pool table, air hockey table, ping pong table, and even arcade games lining up this entire wall. And not to mention, we are gonna be getting the largest flat screen TV known to mankind and throwing it up here on the wall. Now, you may be sitting back asking, man, with all this physical activity, how are you going to stay hydrated? Well, I'm glad you asked because this is where we have already plumbed out a full blown kitchen that is going to have everything from snacks, drinks, food, caffeine, everything associated with a true gamer diet. But what good is this kitchen back here without a place to eat? So that's where on the back side over here, we're going to have a complete lounge area that's going to have tables, couches, lounge chairs, even a poker card table where I can take most of your money. Oh. Anyways, I know what you guys are really here for. Enough of the boomer gaming talk. You guys want the true gaming experience. So let's go check out the second floor. The second floor is by far going to be my favorite place in the gaming house and also where you guys have had the greatest impact. So let's check out the three rooms that are up here. Now this first room right here was originally going to be a little putt-putt area, a little bit of golf, you know, things of that nature. But after you guys commented so much about where's the racing simulators in the gaming house, we know we had to make a change. I up making a trip over to CES, the largest tech convention in the world, trying to figure out what are we gonna do with this space. And for those of you that follow me on the short form content side of things, you're already gonna know this story, so bear with me. But I ended up stumbling into the Sony booth and I saw right there, Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo is supposed to be one of the top notch racing sim games. I mean, it is so realistic that they made a movie about a gamer that went from racing in this game to winning real races in real life. So as you know, my expectations were sky high going into this. So as I sat there and I got to race on Gran Turismo, I was highly disappointed. It didn't feel realistic. I was losing control of my car. I was peeling out. It wasn't breaking. And I finished my race. And as I started to get up, that's when a Sony personnel came over and said, sir, you weren't actually racing. You were watching a replay of the previous racer. I sat there, I was like, okay, it's all right. I'll just move on. He's like, no, 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 you gotta give it another try. I was like, no, my, my ego, my self-confidence is out the window. I just wanna get out of this place. We got hundreds of people watching me. But then I sat down and I actually raced on Gran Turismo and it was absolutely awesome. So that's where we sit here now. I know there's a bunch of different racing simulators out there. Do we do something like iRacing? I know there's Gran Turismo. There's so many different things that we could choose from. And we are putting two racing sims back to back right here in this space so you guys have to let me know down in the comments what is the best racing sim for this room. For all you real gamers out there, I want to apologize for the second room in advance. This is where you're going to have to actually come up here and touch some grass. This is going to be the golfing simulator room. Now, I realize there's a bunch of questions like, Samson, you're a gamer. You're not supposed to be doing physical activities. Well, no one said I was going to be good at golf. So that's why we ended up putting this wall right here next to the racing simulator. That way, when I'm golfing, I'm not shaking golf balls and hitting you in the back of the head. Now, I kept all of you waiting in anticipation of my favorite room, the secret gaming room. And as soon as I saw you guys commenting about a secret gaming room for this gaming house, we went straight to work. Now you want to see what the coolest <laughs> thing is. Vision this now, Kyle. 
You walk in here and now here is a big bookshelf with all these trophies. And then we have it center hinged. I can push on this and now it's all a hidden wall. <laughs> <laughs> that would be, that would actually be super cool. Oh yeah, you have to have a hidden room in here somewhere. Oh, I think that's gonna be super uh -huh. cool. Now the secret gaming room has gone through so many revisions through the build process. It first started as a VR arena room with one of those treadmill VR machines. Then it went into a VR room with two different PC setups. And now we have finally finalized it. It is gonna be a full-blown console, PC, and VR room. That's a wrap on part one of the gaming house, but make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel to make sure you're keeping up with the progress on the gaming house.